Hi everyone. So here is my my old bench power supply uh, thing. Top Shack NPS six zero five W. This was a good unit because it was sixty volt um, power supply, not the thirty volt one. Um, I think I had it for about a year or two, something like that. It did really well, but it died. I don't know how, I don't know what happened. I checked the MOSFETs here, and the MOSFETs were shorted. So I replaced the MOSFETs. Admittedly, I didn't replace them with the exact same one, but, you know, it looked like it was a comparable MOSFET. I checked the spec sheet. These two Shockey diodes here were... here... were uh, broken shorted um, so I replaced those also the bridge rectifier here appeared to be shorted but it, it, actually, it actually isn't shorted uh, it, it looks like it's shorted because the two circuits that are connected are shorted and they're only connected because of this here so if I change the MOSFETs and change the diodes then it all tests okay and then you turn it on it blows, trips the consumer unit and um, back to square one and now this looks like it's shorted again um, there was a I think it's called a thermistor that was here I don't have any thermistors so I just shorted it together but the idea of the thermistor is that it limits the current uh, when the when the component is cold and the idea being is that it's assumed that if the thing is cold then it's just starting up and then the idea is if it's warm then it's been starting up for a number of milliseconds or whatever Anyway, long story short, it was broken, I thought I knew what the problem was, I fixed it, and it blew again, so I actually don't know what the problem is, which is quite sad, because you can see here that uh, I'd be throwing this away when it doesn't look burnt, and doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it really, um, it's just a case of not knowing what the problem is, which is unfortunate. Anyway, I guess I'll keep it a bit longer just in case I discover some sort of... Um, I don't know, cure I guess. Anyway, so this morning I've gone out and, look at this mess here. This morning I've gone out and I bought another one of these. Um, the updated version, which is this one. Well, I say updated version, it's by a different company. It says Nankav, uh, and here it is. Um... There's the manual. Let's take a quick look at the unit itself. So I've got the um, IEC lead, I believe it's called. I call it a kettle lead. Um, let's turn this off. That's my other camera. I'm trying my phone out, you see, instead of the camera, because I think it might be easier. But there's the um, what's the name lead, I can't remember what it's called. There's a fuse in there, quick blow fuse. Um, and this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. I guess I'll turn it on and check that it works. Quick blow fuse should go in there. I can get it open. There we go. Oh, it's already got one in it. Okay, it's already got one in, so that can go there. And um, here's the lead. I'm not going to use the new lead. I've got a lead from the old one, the IEC. Make sure it's switched off. Yes, it is. Yeah, so I've got the 60 volt uh, 5 amp one. Let's try it out. Turn it on. <coughs> Okay, turn it on here, and it works. Okay, good. So the way this thing works is that you uh, just do this. You see, you change the numbers. Actually, you don't even need to click it. Look, let's get five volts. Um. Five volts, that's quite good, isn't it? 
Look at this, you can even go to the millivolt. So let's do... Oh, look at that as well. It even rolls over to the next digit. So there's volts. And then current, amps, you can reduce this. Let's say you want to charge some uh, lithium cells. And you want to limit it to one amp. Yeah, that's very good. Limit it to one amp. What? I don't imagine it wouldn't make sense for you to. What's this as well? Push hold OCP on off. Over current protection, I guess. Over current protection. What else have we got here? Output. CV. CC. What happens if I hold it? CV. Nothing. CV. Hmm. Maybe you have to hold that. I don't know. But anyway, um, where are these lead things? Here they are. And unlike the other one as well, we have an earth, which is quite interesting. Anyway, let's connect this up. These go in here like this. I guess something like that. Um, let's see if I can charge a, a cell. Just picking anything up here. Right, so we want to change the voltage to 4.2. 4.2. And let's see what it does. Yep, yeah, so it's drawing 170 milliamps. 0 0.7 watts, you can't see it there, but hang on. See? Got USB quick charge as well, that's quite cool. Okay, well, I'm excited to, um, to use this, really. Seems like quite a good unit. Let's see if it does what the other one did, where you turn it off and it won't turn off. Yeah, it does. Oh, there you go. It does turn off. Okay, cool. So that's my new unit. 